This is the um, Foreign Minister of Ecuador, Guillermo Long, uh, who came uh, to the embassy uh, today because of four, four years. He has uh, an appointment tomorrow with the British Foreign and Commonwealth Office, uh, of course, because I keep causing him uh, and Ecuador a bit of grief in this situation. But uh, anyway, he has a few words to say. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. On this day, on a day like this, four years ago, Julian Assange entered our embassy, the premises of the Ecuadorian embassy in London, and requested asylum to the government of Ecuador. He feared for his life, his physical integrity, his liberty. He felt that he was facing persecution for his journalistic work that exposed terrible crimes and grave violations of human rights. The treatment handed out to Chelsea Manning justified these fears. Two months later, the Ecuadorian government took a bold decision. Julian Assange was granted asylum. Ecuador took this step in order to protect and safeguard his life and his integrity. It was a principled decision that resonated across the whole world. Despite threats, harassment, and smear campaigns, Ecuador stood firm in the face of all the pressure it faced to revert its decision. We have never regretted it. We've never re regretted our decision. We are a country committed to protecting and promoting basic human rights and to defending those who devote their lives to human rights. And in times when other governments often evade their responsibility and refuse to welcome people that escape political persecution or war, Ecuador takes principled and effective action. Some of you may not know that our country hosts the largest number of refugees in Latin America. And these people, the refugees in Ecuador, don't live in refugee camps, but are fully integrated in our society. Four years on, we uphold our decision to grant Julian asylum because the conditions that made him fear for his physical integrity have not fundamentally changed. Despite Ecuador's multiple efforts to broker a satisfactory solution for all parties, Sweden and the UK refused to commit themselves to not extradite Julian Assange to a third country. The UN has recently declared that Julian Assange is being arbitrarily detained. He is confined in a tiny building. His health has substantially deteriorated. The UK and Sweden have repeatedly called on countries to comply with such UN rulings on arbitrary detention. And yet, in this case, both countries are ignoring that decision. My government believes that principled action brings fundamental change. Julian Assange, Chelsea Manning, Edward Snowden, and many others have made a unique contribution. Beyond denouncing terrible crimes against humanity, as well as severe violations of human rights, they opened up and shaped a global debate, which is fundamental today. How imbalances of power affect the ways information is produced, distributed, and controlled, and how this impacts all aspects of our lives, of everyone's lives. Four years on, Ecuador remains firmly committed to uphold the asylum granted to Julian Assange, and at the same time to devoting its best efforts to end Julian Assange's arbitrary detention. Four years is far too long. Let's put an end to this.